How's it going everybody? Today I wanted to talk about an important aspect of your business's commercial insurance program and that is business personal property insurance also known as BPP. If you own a business you've probably heard of this type of insurance but what exactly does it cover and how is it different from other types of property insurance? Thank you for stopping by. My name is Brian Gatowski. I'm an independent insurance agent based here in the state of Michigan, Metro Detroit specifically, and I work with businesses on their commercial insurance programs, as well as helping families and individuals with their personal insurance, their home, their auto insurance as well. My goal with this channel is to pass on a little bit of educational information to you so that you can make more informed decisions around your insurance, whether that's for yourself, your business, or your family, and then overall help answer any questions that you might have. So let's get into it. Business personal property insurance is designed to cover the physical items that your business owns that is not a part of the actual building. So think of things like furniture, computers, inventory, equipment, and even things like raw materials. Essentially, it covers most of the tangible assets that your business owns and uses on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, how is this different from other types of property insurance? Let's start with building coverage, which covers the physical structure of the property itself. So things like the walls, the roof, flooring, anything that is permanently a part of the building and the structure. On the other hand, BPP covers everything inside the property. An easy way to think about it is, if you tip the building upside down, what would fall out? Now BPP does cover things like equipment that might be permanently attached to the building, like machinery uh, in a manufacturing facility, for example, but that is the simplest way to think about it. If you flipped your building upside down, what's going to fall out? Another key aspect to consider is how the limits for business personal property coverage are determined. It's very important to make sure that you have an accurate value for all of the property inside your business's facility to make sure that you are fully covered if there is a loss. And you'll also wanna determine if you want coverage based on the replacement cost or actual cash value for the property. Actual cash value takes into account depreciation. Oftentimes, I almost always recommend people going with replacement costs because that does provide broader coverage. It's also important to be aware of common exclusions. Business personal property will typically not cover property that is not owned by your business, but may be in your possession for some reason. So that's something important to know. Then another type of insurance to consider is inland marine insurance which can be a little bit confusing. So while BPP will cover items that are at your business's location, Inland Marine Insurance will cover items that typically move around. For instance, if you have tools or equipment that you are commonly taking off-site or to specific job sites, this is where you would want Inland Marine Insurance and not rely on business personal property coverage. Inland Marine Insurance can protect that property while it is in transit or just being used off-site somewhere else. Understanding these differences is very important because each type of insurance does have its own purpose and together they do create that complete commercial insurance program that does provide the proper protection for your business for each circumstance. The last thing you want is to assume that something is covered only to find out that you should have had it on a different policy or something like that. So thank you for watching. And if you are looking for help with your commercial insurance, I would love the opportunity to work with you and see if our team can help. There are a lot of ways to get a hold of me and they should all be in the description below. Please feel free to text, call, email, reach out on social media, whatever is easiest. And if you have any questions about insurance, whether it's commercial or personal, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I would love to help answer those as well. So thank you again.